I am first elect woman Eden Wimfeimer. The time is 7.02 p.m. and I call this town meeting to order. Town Clerk Christine Gallagher will read the warning of the meeting. Notice is hereby given that a special town meeting of the town of East Granby, Connecticut will be held at the Senior Community Center on Thursday, March 24th, 2022 at 7 o'clock p.m. for the following purposes. One, to elect a moderator. Two, to consider an act upon the appropriation of a sum not to exceed $130,000 from the capital non-recurring fund to purchase a pumper truck as recommended by the boards of selectmen and finance. Any unexpended funds are to be returned to the capital fund. Three, to consider an act upon the appropriation of a sum not to exceed $85,000 from the capital non-recurring fund to purchase a tower ladder truck as recommended by the boards of selectmen and finance. Any unexpended funds are to be returned to the capital fund. Dated in East Granby, Connecticut, the 16th day of March, 2022. Signed by Eden Wimfeimer, first select woman, Joe Doring, selectman, Stephen Hall, selectman. A copy of this notice was posted on the town sign board on March 17th, 2022, and a copy thereof was posted in the March 18th issue of the Hartford Current. Next order of business is the election of a moderator. Do we have any nominations for a moderator? I'd like to make a motion that we elect Mr. Brad Wolf as the moderator. Second? Second the motion. Any other nominations? May I have a motion to close nominations? Move to close. All those in favor of closing nominations, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstained? Nominations now closed. Nomination of Brad Wolf as moderator. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstained? Mr. Moderator. Good evening, everyone. Coming out on a nice, miserable night. At least it's not snowing. <coughs> Yet. <coughs> Uh, a couple of ground rules. First, you want to know if you can vote or not. To be eligible to vote, you must be an elector of the town of East Granby or a citizen age 18 or more who is liable to the town for taxes against you, an assessment of not less than $1,000 in the last completed grant. Any questions? If you do have them, we'll refer you to the town clerk. Now, I'd like to run this in a modified Robert's Rules of Order. We will entertain questions, comments, and we'll do so one at a time. Then we'll move on to the next person, and so everybody has a chance to speak without duplication. But we'll do a second round if we have time. I now request a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes of the special town meeting December 7th, 2021. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. And now request that we accept the minutes of the 12 721 meeting. Is there a motion to accept? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now request a motion to act upon the appropriation of a sum not to exceed $130,000 from the capital free non recurring fund for a pump. I move the adoption of the following resolution. Be it hereby resolved that a sum not to exceed $130,000 from the capital non-recurring fund to purchase a pumper truck with any unexpended funds to be returned to the capital fund as recommended by the boards of selectmen and finance. Is there a second? Second. Ms. Wimfeimer, would you hear it coming? $325,000 is in the capital plan for fiscal year 2022-2023 allocated as partial payment for the purchase of a new pumper truck 
for the fire department. However, a new time-sensitive opportunity has arisen where a used pumper truck, otherwise referred to as the Coopersburg Pumper, has come up for sale for $130,000 and must be purchased by the end of March 2022. A brand new pumper truck is now anticipated to cost in the mid to high of $800,000 due to supply chain challenges and inflation. The originally allocated capital funds of $325,000 in fiscal year 2022 and 2023 and an additional earmarked $350,000 in fiscal year 23-24 are no longer adequate for a new pumper. The fire department's request is to reappropriate FY22-2023 capital funds in the amount of $130,000 intended for the purchase of a new pumper truck and instead spend the money now prior to July 1st for the Coopersburg pumper. Thank you. Chief Flaherty, would you care to comment? Thank you. Should I come to the podium? Please. We're on TV, I believe. <laughs> yep, we and are. the other request I have is that if you do want to stand up and speak, tell us who you are so we can tell the television audience. People will be up at 3 o'clock in the morning watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. <laughs> no, no, no. If there's anybody that can't hear me, please raise your hand. Excellent. The first order of business that we're going to discuss is the purchase of what is affectionately known as the Coopersburg Pumper. The Coopersburg Pumper, and I'll use the terminology, the twin, <clears throat> the twin to the Coopersburg Pumper was the Coopersburg Rescue Truck that the East Granby Fire Department bought from the Coopersburg Fire Department uh, less than one year ago. When we went to Coopersburg, we got a feel for the land down there, that there were a small fire department in the Philadelphia suburb that was only four square miles in size and had a diminishing population of volunteer firefighters. And what the Coopersburg Fire Department was doing was consolidating diminishing the size of their fleet, which was only a rescue truck, which we purchased, the pumper, which we hope to purchase tonight, and a ladder truck. Because of the shrinking volunteer firefighters that they had, they felt the best thing to do was to go down to a rescue pumper and a ladder truck. When we looked at the Coopersburg rescue truck, we were amazed in the condition, the good condition, the excellent condition, that that rescue truck was in. As we proceeded forward in time, we realized that we were facing some dilemmas, financial dilemmas, not only in East Granby, but certainly in the United States and across the world. COVID-19 threw the fire truck industry into a tailspin, just like it had done every other industry in the United States. The problem that we recognized, or the situation that we recognized, was that the allocation of capital funds for the purchase of our pumper were inadequate due to inflation. The amount of money that were allocated, and I'm gonna talk in round figures, $675,000, would have purchased a brand new pumper last year. Uh, due to inflation, as our first light woman stated, we would expect the purchase of a new pumper as the capital plan is currently crafted out in 2025 is probably in the area of $900,000. I think the worst thing that a fire chief or a department head can do is to come back to the town leaders and the residents of the town and ask for more money. And not only would I be faced with asking for more money, I would be faced with a situation that I could not give a fixed amount on how much that increase would be. I think all of us in the room tonight would agree that that increase would be 7% annually. So we felt, we, the fire department, felt the best thing to do would be to revisit the purchasing of good used apparatus that had a considerable amount of life left in it 
and that we could put a moderate, a moderate amount of money into refurbishing that apparatus for the use of the fire department and certainly for the safety of the citizens and business owners in the town of East Grand. We went back to Coopersburg, looked at the engine. It was in the same pristine condition as the rescue truck that we bought. It had 22,645 miles on it and approximately 2,500 hours. Uh, like I said, the town was only four square miles. So at any one distance of travel, it probably only went two miles out to a call on the edge of town and came two miles back to the fire station. Like I said, they took pristine condition of it, a lot of pride in the ownership of that piece of equipment. And for us, uh, the assistant chief in my apparatus committee, how many people from the apparatus committee are here tonight? Raise your hand. One, two, the assistant chief is three. I know Glenn Van Neal, did you go with us once? Uh, Chris Gathers went with us once. So, and Joe St. Cyr went with us. Joe, what did you go see? Uh, I saw the ladder. Saw the ladder, which we will talk about in a few minutes. So based upon the condition of the truck, the fair market value, and what we would be paying for it, what we would be putting into it to do a a refurbishment that works for the financial sense of this town and for the operational sense of the fire department, we felt that it was worth bringing forward to the town. Um, and apparently the town board of selectmen and now the board of finance have brought forth uh, the proposition to the meeting tonight for a vote. With that said, I would hope that everybody in this room had a chance to get the packet in that packet is the pictures of the Coopersburg pumper. It also shows a picture of the 1984 E1 pumper that it's replacing. Uh, with that said, Mr. Wolf, should I entertain questions? No, we'll move along. And Thank you. Let the next person who wishes to speak speak. Hear me okay? Did I go off? You're off. I'm good? <clears throat> no. It doesn't sound like I'm good. So now, uh, would anyone else care to comment? Yes. Should I come up there? Mr. Calabao, if you'd like to. Sure. Floor is yours to ask questions or make comments. Okay, great. With respect to questions, I'd like to hold them until we can do them at one time rather than get into a ticket that they Gotcha. So hey, Paul Calabon from 152 Turkey Hills Road. Um, lived in town for five years. Former project manager in fire departments in the city of Mesa of Arizona on equipment purchases and computer-aided dispatch and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, so I'm not unfamiliar with uh, the fire industry and what's going on and what it takes to run the fire department. Um, so I guess my, I want to start that. I want to commend our volunteer fire department. They do an excellent job for near nothing in pay. And uh, I'm so glad that uh, Tammy Zalatowski, our representative, got you some additional money uh, through state legislature to uh, have some more stipends for you guys and, and uh, that's that's really good because you guys do a lot of work. Um, it's on it's on it's on yo, yo. It's on <laughs> you guys do a lot of work and uh, we all appreciate it. Uh, and I'm a strong supporter of our fire department. Can you hear me without the mic? Because it's probably not gonna work. <laughs> um, so starting there, so, so um, as many of you know that live here in town, uh, we've had increases in our mill rates, uh, our tax base rates, for several years. I mean, ever since I've been here, we've, we've never had a decrease and we've never had a zero-based uh, budget. Okay, it's always been uh, going up. Uh, so this year we have another uh, substantial boost. I know that they're working on the budgets right now, but we're looking at anywhere from a 
two and a half to three percent increase. Uh, that's yet to be hashed out, but uh, the bottom line is there is going to be an increase in budgets for Board of Selectmen and for Board of Education uh, that's going to happen. So, you know, what does that mean? Our revenues haven't really increased at all uh, to that extent, to that those numbers. It's, I believe, at one and a half percent is what our personal property tax. We already had a great benefit last year from our assessments on our properties that gave us you know, a significant boost in, in revenue and income. Uh, but again, we're, we're going beyond that. Um, so this year, we have a really special opportunity in that we have been granted by the federal government uh, ARPA and ESSA grants, which in total are almost four and a half million dollars between uh, what can be spent on the town side and what can be spent on the board of education side. And um, so we have these funds. There is absolutely no reason that we shouldn't be utilizing these funds for purchases that are allowable under uh, the rules and regulations that, that uh, do this. Because every dollar that we don't spend out of our capital fund is a potential way for us to avoid a mill increase in our tax rates as a town if we use those funds rather than our capital funds. And uh, I fully understand that you can't run a city on grants alone, but the circumstances right now are such that we could have a substantial savings that could potentially put off a mill rate increase for town if we were to use those funds rather than the proposed funds that are being uh, put forward to pay for this uh, tonight. And. Um, so I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Um, you know, there is right now um, cities and towns all over the country that are using ARPA funds to purchase fire equipment, police equipment. Uh, Eden just had a meeting with the Board of Selectmen uh, a couple of days ago. We just approved 200 and something thousand dollar on social services, uh, expanded stuff for uh, They'll serve for, to get us uh, counselors for the town, increase parks and rec staff, uh, and do all kinds of great things for the town that are coming out of those funds. And um, so I, am, I have no question that the fire department needs this equipment. I, not, I had a long conversation with the chief today and the assistant chief and uh, as a matter of fact, I think that maybe they're underselling what they're asking for here, uh, given that we're going to be having an increase in development in the town here that we know is going to happen. We have uh, the parcel behind a liquor cabinet uh, that's just been sold to the Silverman Group. They're planning on developing some very large buildings, uh, apartment housing. We also have another development going in across the street uh, that's going to be apartment housing. And so we're growing as a, as a town. And I just don't see that we've put enough planning uh, for the future into how our public safety infrastructure is gonna support that growth. And uh, I'm glad that we're moving forward with this, but I think we're selling ourselves um, short. And I absolutely believe that it's the wrong funding source because ARPA funds, we have $800,000 still available. Uh, we've committed uh, 600 and something thousand dollars to date. Out of those funds, we were allocated 1.5 million. Uh, so there's still plenty of money uh, for this to be taken out of those funds. And there are other towns in Connecticut and across the country that are using those funds exactly for this purpose. And so I don't know why we as a town would vote to utilize this other money when these funds are totally available to us. It's a simple application process. The state and the federal government want towns like us to be spending this money because ARPA was put in place to allow towns to be able to recover from the pandemic. And, and so I guess I'm questioning why we're not utilizing those funds right now uh, for this purpose. Um, there's nothing immediate about this deal that has to happen you know, tonight or, or you know, whatever, because 
We have mutual aid agreements with all the other towns. We actually have ladder trucks that are supplied by Simsbury, by the Bradley Coalition down by the airport uh, that respond to uh, incidents for our town. That's what we've been depending on since we don't have a ladder truck of our own right now. Uh, so that's been going on for you know quite a while. But I agree that you know we need our own ladder truck because we do have development coming in. It's and ladder trucks are way more safer for fire personnel uh, than other types of trucks because it, it removes the person from the you know <laughs> rather than have to set up ladders and stuff. So I I guess my bottom line is I I, I think we need to rethink this that and it would be a fairly simple and quick process for us to move forward with using ARPA funds for these purchases. And perhaps even we should look at increasing the amount that we're gonna to give to the fire department so that they can get newer equipment because the equipment that they're purchasing is 10 to 15 years old. It's, it's used equipment. Uh, there's probably better equipment out there for maybe a little bit more money and I applaud the chief for doing a great job at looking at getting us the best deal possible. I, I would imagine it is a really, really uh, good deal, but you know, here we're gonna be stuck with the equipment that's only gonna last eight to 10 years, where if we got something newer, it would last potentially you know, 20 years. Um, and so then we would ha not have to go revisit this in shorter time frames over, over time. So um, the 2018 study that uh, was done on the fire department recommended a ladder truck. And it recommended, and we actually allocated $800,000 for equipment, for new equipment for the fire department. So uh, again, I think we're selling ourselves short on this deal. Uh, we should definitely be using the ARPA funds to avoid the tax increases for the middle rate. And uh, so that's basically my, my two cents. So the, the, uh, I've looked at other people that are doing this. So uh, Meriden in Connecticut is buying a new fire truck for their fire department with ARPA funds, a brand new truck. And uh, there are, I found at least a dozen, or just a cursory search found a dozen other cities that are using ARPA funds to purchase uh, fire equipment. And so it's not like it's, we're asking anything outside of the bounds of what the grants could be used for, and they're totally available, and they're deposited in our accounts. So I would you know, strongly recommend that we take a step back, uh, take a look at using those ARPA funds for this purchase, uh, avoid, possibly you know, reduce the mill rate. We also have stuff for the police department that they're gonna need, vehicles and body cameras and whatnot. That also can come out of these ARPA funds, and thus, you know, be, reduce our capital expenditures, which could then balance the increases that we might have for operating budgets, which I understand, you know, we, had, we gave raises, we did, you know. So that's just my proposal, that's my, my take on it, and uh, I hope that the Board of Finance and Board of Selectmen uh, take that into consideration that you guys do also. Uh, there could be, this could be a quick turnaround. I'm not saying that, you know, the Chief is worried this deal is gonna fall through, I don't think it will fall through. I think there's lots of support in the town for the fire department. I think that if we went forward and they put forth a request for the ARPA funds, it would be granted through the Board of Selectmen and the Board of Finance, and uh, thus it benefits everybody. It's a win-win situation, I guess is what I'm saying, for, for everybody involved. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Calva. Just so, so people know, I went out again. Doesn't like me tonight. Um, we're, we're sort of in a binary situation here. What we're dealing with is a motion to appropriate dollars. We go yes, but we vote no. Well, we can't vote for Plan C tonight. Anybody else wish to speak? Sir. Hello, I'm Paul Felina on Sunrise Terrace. So I have uh, two questions, a comment maybe on Paul's, but a, and then a question. Um, so I'd like to hear from um, the selectmen, really what's the downside of this, this program or this, uh, this opportunity that Paul brings out because that, uh, you know, I'm on fixed income maybe like a lot of folks in this town and, and not seeing the mill rates change would be a great thing if, if, it's, uh, if it's not a dangerous thing for the town because I also support the fire department. I'd like to, you know, see that we get new equipment. 
or updated equipment. And my uh, second question has to do with the sort of the total cost of this. Uh, I see on one of the slides uh, the cost of pumper is $130,000, and I understand that. But on another slide, I, s I see refurbishment of $190,000. So it's it's not clear to me what the total cost is, uh, you know, at the end of the day for this uh, for this pumper. Thank you. Ms. Winkleimer, would you like to tackle the first question about Sir. the funding? Yeah. Sir. Come on here. Maybe it'll stay on for you. So um, the first question, the downside of the purchase, um, ARPA funds, spending of ARPA funds did come up. I did talk with the chairman of Board of Finance about using ARPA funds. He asked me, had a conversation. I agree with Paul that the monies can be used for it. Mark Porter, the chairman, said he is going to go forward. It was before he, it was presented to the Board of Finance. He was going to um, propose the plan as it was presented to him, which is why he proposed it the way he did and didn't go back to um, talking about spending more funds on it. That answers your question. And, um, that oh yeah go ahead. Sorry, not exactly. I mean, is, is there a risk on it? I mean, it's, it's there was an implication that we'll miss out on the deal, sort of. If, you know, so is that right. So the other factor, and I just wanted to um, speak to Paul's comment regarding there's no urgency. There is urgency, which is why the board of selectmen did have a meeting, and we scheduled a special meeting um, for the fire department a couple days later to move um, to motion and move forward to the Board of Finance because I was, it was explained to me by Carrie that it was time sensitive and it was, it is. It needs to be purchased by, I think, last week, to be honest. So, which is why we didn't make any other changes and we just went forward with the proposal as it was presented. And your second question, um, Oh, the total value that was supposed to be whited out. It was. It, it, was it's just it wasn't replaced. It was one slide was up and then we um, amended it and reposted the new one. So unfortunately, I think you got the incorrect version that was posted originally. Oh, the original post. Original post. Online. So what is the total? Cost? So the total is um, for this motion is one hundred thirty thousand and the second is eighty five thousand. So we have a totally functional working truck for 130,000. No. No, it needs no, to be refurbished. Carrie speak to that. So what happened? So during the board of finance meeting, um, Mark Porter did want some more bids for refurbishment, so they did not move that forward. I hope that answers your question. Ooh. Carrie can maybe speak to that. <laughs> Chief, could you comment on the refurbishing costs so we have a better view of the whole landscape? And this is regarding the one truck. Just, you know, what's the total value of the deal, sort of? Yeah. The, <clears throat> and that's a great question because that slide rolls some figures together. And if you look at that total amount at the bottom of that, that sum of money comes to what total? Two hundred seventy-five thousand. Three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Thank you. I transposed my numbers. So what that three twenty-five represents is the allocated funding for fiscal year twenty-two twenty-three to be allocated, dedicated to the first allocation of money to buy the pumper and fiscal year 24-25. So what we did is we took the 325, the first year of the funding, and made the recommendation that we buy two pieces of equipment for 235, and that remaining balance of money is the funds available to do the refurbishment on the pumper and the ladder. With that said, the pumper truck needs more refurbishment than the latter. And the reason that the pumper needs more refurbishment is we have to reconfigure the compartments 
to meet our cache of tools. Thank you. Other comments on this, Mr. Passwords? Hi, Brad, thank you. Well. <clears throat> Bob Paskowitz, Old Church Road, East Granby. I uh, just wanted to come up here tonight to uh, be supportive of this plan, but I know no one likes to pay higher taxes. Uh, with that said, today in the paper, yesterday we've seen Connecticut, best towns to buy a home in, East Granby number one. One of the reasons why East Granby is number one is because of the boards and commissions we have in this community made up of Democrats and Republicans. I've lived in this town for over 40 years and have worked successfully with people that want to see the job get done and get done the best way, most effectively, effective way, and being fiscally responsible. These firemen have done their homework. Some of them sitting there were my students at one time. Maybe they didn't do their homework. But they, but they did this time with going out and trying to get a good deal for the town of East Granby. These dollars, and I, is someone from the Board of Finance here? Jim, if you can answer a question. Am I correct that I understand these dollars in the capital plan are dollars that are there sitting right now that's earmarked, or are we going to have an assessment and a tax increase next year if we purchase this fire truck? I don't, I don't believe those uh, capital funds are earmarked for anything. I think they're but uh, my question is, are the capital funds, is the money there, or they, do they have to tax us next year to get the money for the fire truck is my question. Is the money there or do we have to tax it? Because I heard tonight that taxes could go up because of this. So I guess everyone has that question. I'm on a fixed income too. So my question is, is the money in the town, have we collected it from the taxpayers already, or is the Board of Finance going to have to tax us more because the town votes to buy a fire truck tonight? That's my question. The best of my knowledge, it's in a capital reserve fund. Available What's that mean? I'm not an expert. We know what here means else here is. It's it's already in, it's already been budgeted for, and it's it's already for for the uh, it's already in the plan and the budget, and it will not well any money we spent. So the uh, money was collected by the taxpayers already, and it's sitting there in accounts for the board of finance, the. Uh, Board of Selectmen or any other commission to go and ask for those capital dollars. Those dollars are already there. We're not going to have a tax increase. Is that correct? It, funds are already there, but I will, yes I will or say. Yes no. Is that correct? Yes. May I, may, I, may I add a comment to that? Go ahead. Any dollar we spend is a means an increase in our tax. Any dollar we spend. We've already collected these dollars. These are new dollars. These are capital dollars that some have looked at it and I thought the money was there for the, the fire yes. department. So the answer is yes. So there will be no tax increase. And again, I will commend the commissions that have put this together. And I hope tonight we at least vote on this, this request. They went out of their way. They thought outside of the box. They could have just waited till next year. They could have waited till September. And we could come to a town meeting and find out that the truck, the new truck, costs twice as much money. And what are we going to sit here and complain about? We all know things are going up. We know the town has the dollars right now. We're the number one town. Look it up. This isn't something anyone's making up. This is by people that we don't even know of. I don't even know how they come up with these numbers, but if you see, East Granby continually does that, and that, again, is because of the people in this town that work together, and that's what the firemen are doing, and I hope we vote soon, and I hope we vote to accept it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Baskowitz. Th this is the end of the, the trail because the monies can be assigned to an account, but they don't get spent until they come here. That's correct. So to move it out of the one account requires this body to act. And what we have here is a motion to move the spending of those funds up to a certain amount into that spendable account. Other comments? Mr. Hayden. Good evening, sir. Good Jim Hayden, 187 South Main Street, East Granby. The, um, just one clarification, the grand list grew 2.5%. 2.59. So it wasn't one point something, it was 2.5%. So that's important for us to know. Uh, as we're looking at budgets. Uh, the other thing uh, is that regarding the capital accounts, um, 
my understanding is that in order to have what we want with these two pieces of equipment, we're going to need to do refurbishment, and that, that's to Paul's question. Uh, and um, my understanding is is that sometime later, the Board of Selectmen, Board of Finance are going to come before the town with an additional amount for refurbishment. It may not be in this fiscal year, it might be next fiscal year, it could be this fiscal year. Is that, am I accurate on that? Mm -hmm. So first select woman says that, that so I, you know, I don't want somebody at a future meeting saying, okay, you bought the two pieces of equipment, you told me you needed $225,000, and now you want another $100,000. That is going to be coming as part of the package. But if, because of the timeliness of the purchase uh, and the deadline of March 30th, that's why the two apparatus are before you. The other thing that I wanted to speak to you is the, uh, I wanted to commend the fire department uh, for, their, uh, uh, for their outstanding work over the years uh, for the town of East Granby uh, and the dedication that they have. Uh, as a recognition of that, uh, back uh, five or six years ago, the Board of Selectmen um, in our five-year plan put $1.3 million for a fire department apparatus. This is not additional or new purchases. This is all part of the plan, and I think it's a good plan, and I wholeheartedly support it. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Are there others who would like to speak for or against this motion? Seeing no one else willing to speak, all in favor of the motion to approve the allocation of $130,000 for the purchase of this piece of equipment, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. No one nay. Any abstentions? The motion is carried. Well, Let's buy a tower ladder or <laughs> see if we can appropriate the funds for it. Madam Clerk, could you read the motion, I make can. the motion? I move the adoption of the following resolution. Be it hereby resolved that a sum not to exceed $85,000 from the capital non-recurring fund to purchase a tower ladder truck with any unexpended funds to be returned to the capital fund as recommended by the boards of selectmen and finance. Is there a second? Your name? Any discussion, Madam Selectman? Do you care to comment? Sure, thank you. A used ladder truck, otherwise referred to as the Terryville Tower Ladder, is available to be purchased for $85,000. The purchase of the Terryville lap Tower Ladder is an opportunistic purchase as the ladder is sized to where our firehouse is able to accommodate it. Newer, more expensive models are too large and would not fit without renovations needed to be made to the firehouse. The fire department's request is to reappropriate FY2223 capital funds in the amount of $85,000 intended for the purchase of a new pumper truck and instead spend the money now prior to July 1st for the Terryville Tower Ladder. Chief Flaherty, would you care to comment on this? Thank you, Mr. Lowe. I'm going to be careful how I. Uh, you just have, have to, to shout. Out. It's unfriendly. <clears throat> I can't speak because I shout too much. That's what my wife says. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what I meant to say, my lovely wife has indicated that sometimes I speak loudly because I have trouble hearing. Anyway, we have the opportune, opportunity to buy an excellent condition, 1989, 1998, yeah, I transposed my numbers again. 1998 LTI Simon Duplex 75 foot tower ladder from the Terryville Fire Department. Terryville Fire Department is looking to sell this ladder tower due to the fact that they are purchasing and will receive 
a $1.5 million ladder tower in September of 2022. We were made aware of this purchase uh, through people affiliated with the Wilkett State Fire School that have used this ladder tower uh, for training at the Wilkett State Fire School and transmitted that information through the system or the grapevine of fire service instructors to the town of East Granby that this truck was available. Once again, upon inspection of this truck at Gowans and Knight Incorporated in Watertown, Connecticut, who was the original vendor for the sale of this truck, has continuously maintained this truck since 1998 and has most recently performed the aerial ladder test on the hydraulics and the structure itself, uh, did the testing and oil sampling on the generator, the built-in generator, and performed the DOT uh, annual required DOT road capability worthiness test, excuse me, um, based on all those facts for us to buy this truck is a deal that we can't pass up. The, re the replacement cost today for this ladder tower, because it's a 75 footer, is only $1.3 million. The 100 footer, which some people would make an argument we should buy, is $1.5 million. And the truck is seven feet longer than the truck we're looking to buy. So the advantage of buying this truck, not only is it in great condition, it's a low profile ladder truck that will fit in either of our firehouses without any renovations or additional spending to get it in either firehouse. Will also fit in all the highways, byways, alleys, and farm property that we have to protect. So if we were going to go out and spec a ladder truck, this is the ladder truck that we would want to spec because it meets our everyday needs. This is the ladder truck that best suits the operation for the East Granby Fire Department. We're not buying a ladder truck, or we not, we're not hoping to buy a ladder truck or ladder tower that would be adequate for the New York City Fire Department, the City of Hartford, the City of New Haven, the city of Hartford. This is a truck that was bought by another small community such as ours for the same specific reason that we wanted to buy it here. And I would expect that this truck as is today will easily last us at least 15 years and God willing in 15 years it will be my recommendation that we take the aerial ladder structure and the hydraulic equipment with it and mount that on a cabin chassis at today's price would cost us six hundred thousand dollars at six hundred thousand dollars we're still mr pasquist did you teach math <laughs> long time ago yes <laughs> a long time so help me out with math if i'm you know spending six hundred thousand dollars at today's price and i'm not spending one point three million is that a savings of seven hundred thousand that's a savings Thank you. By any math, it's a savings. Thank you. So that's what we're trying to do is make purchases that make sense once again, not only for the taxpayers and the business owners of this community, but for the fire department and all our elected officials to stand behind the promise that all of us made to protect and serve on the emergency services side and to make great fiscal decisions on the Board of Finance and the Board of Selectmen. Thank you, Chief. As an aside, when I was on the committee to build this complex, including the fire department, we never dreamt that we were making it too small old <laughs> equipment. Time to get you. Other comments, please. Yes. Mr. Walter. Mr. Frank, or the the floor is yours. Thank you. Hi, Jim Franklin, 20 Heather Lane. I'm also a member of the Board of Finance of 
Here's some of the drawbacks to the proposal. Let me explain those first. We have not yet completed a study, which we have paid $50,000 for, that would recommend or not recommend uh, the equipment we currently have in our arsenal for the fire department. But budgets, uh, this, this money was not in the budget and as initially planned, but budgets should be flexible and should be made to be flexible. And I remind our, my colleague about Mr. Paskowitz that every dollar we spend eventually comes out of taxpayer, out of taxpayer dollars in our property taxes. So that's, that's one reminder that I didn't perhaps make clear in, our, in my earlier statements. But I as, a, I, as a Board of Finance member, I'm speaking now as a private citizen of East Granby, supported this measure. I think it's, a, it's an opportun opportunistic purchase. I support our fire department. Uh, we are planning for growth in this town, and that's, that's one of the main reasons I have. It's an, opportun uh, it's an opportunic oppor <laughs> opportunistic purchase. Um, we uh, trusted in the due diligence of our Board of Selectmen that made the re recommendation to the Board of Finance, and the due diligence that our fire chief and many of you volunteers have come down and observed the equipment, and I voted for it, and I recommend supporting this, this uh, capital appropriation. Thank you very much. Other comments? Over here, Mr. Paskowitz. Do you need stone tablets and chisels to no, do your math? I don't need the mic either. Uh, <laughs> Slide away. Uh, Jim, you're right about budgets, and I feel the same way about things. I guess my concern and why I'm supporting this now is our capital plan or dollars that the town has collected from us. As a taxpayer, to be honest with you, I wish we didn't have so much money collected for capital projects. I wish the money was in all our wallets at home and the town came to us when they really needed it. But the town has collected from us in the past very smartly to create a budget for capital plans and commissions look out five years ahead and try to plan what you're going to need five years out, three years out. The fire department came up with a special deal and uh, I certainly give them credit for it. I was appalled that we don't have a ladder truck to begin with. I'm trying to buy a pickup truck and that's, that's hard enough, let alone the work you guys have done. So, so because the money is there, uh, I'd like to see it move forward. Uh, the ARPA funds, I, I watched the Board of Selectmen's meeting the other night. They, they use those federal funds very appropriately, I thought, for groups that came to them and, and things that they need. This was something that the town, we knew we needed a fire truck. We all knew we needed that. We knew it had to be done. The, the money, they don't have it yet, but the money is in a fund. It's, it's allocated for the future. They found a good deal. It is an unusual deal, and I commend, again, a small town like this is the only way you can do it. I saw the Board of Selectmen last month. They had questions, and they asked you to go back and do your homework, and you did a great job of it. I saw the Board of Finance. This is a very unusual arrangement. And again, I commend the commissions for coming together and getting this done now before it costs us twice as much money later. And that's my only point, I thank you very much. Thank you. Paul Twain, uh, Sunrise Terrace. Um, just want to jump on a little bit though the accolades for the fire department. I mean, there's, there's nothing as a, as a taxpayer in town, there's nothing more I could ask of you guys than to spend my money like it's your own and you're doing that. So thank you so very much for that. Um, a little while ago, I know we bought a, a new rescue truck and which allowed the previous or the older rescue truck to re be repurposed for the um, uh, public works, I believe it was. So my question is, these two trucks that are being replaced, are there plans to sell these or repurpose them, or is there any money coming back to us from, from the two trucks that are uh, that are being replaced? Chief, can you handle that one? I believe I can. Thank you. <clears throat> the first piece of apparatus that we talked about tonight was Engine 5, the replacement of Engine 5. That's 1983-84 E1 pumper. That had been disposed of previously through a competitive bid processing known as Municipal. So those funds have been returned back to the town. The previous ladder truck is, and Mr. I would rely on Mr. Hayden to answer this question, but I believe the previous ladder truck was also uh, disposed of on Municipal through a competitive bidding process and those funds are also returned to the top. Thank you. 
It's been quite a while since you've had that laugh. Yes, sir. Mr. Calabon. So I'm not going to come up there. Since he didn't. <laughs> so so once, once again, uh, every dollar that we spend out of our capital funds that we have today has the potential for us to have to increase the mill rate because we have other expenditures. We haven't finalized our budget. Uh, Jim said 2.5%. That was last year that we had an assessment increase in a, of 2.5% across the board for our property taxes. And, but this year what I heard was the personal property went up uh, one and a half. And 2.59. And the rest stayed, you know, comparable. 2.5. It was 2.5 because that's not what was published, but uh, nice. I could be wrong. Okay, so we had 2.5. So we had the Board of Education asking for a 2.85% increase, which is more than what our revenue is increasing. So that's gotta be paid for somehow. Okay, um, money doesn't grow on trees. Uh, last year, we were able to reduce our mill rate increase because we did conserve on capital funds and used uh, funds that we had been storing uh, in our reserve funds to make up for that difference and the Board of Finance did that. So the more that we have in these funds that are available that we can avoid spending them this year, because again, this is, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, these ARPA funds, okay? It's huge. It's not like you're gonna see this again probably anytime soon. And every dollar that we can direct to these ARPA funds saves the city money, period. I mean, I, I don't know what Bob's talking about, but every dollar that you don't spend out of the city's coffers saves the city money, because it's free money, okay? There is no downside to using the ARPA funds. And, and so I think we're being very short-sighted. Uh, I hope to God that with other projects, we can spend every single dollar that are in that $1.5 million of ARPA funds because it certainly benefits the town to do so. And this is an immediate project that could be done easily. Uh, again, the time frame it could still be done. I'm just questioning the funding source. That's it. I'm not questioning the need. I'm not questioning the job the fire department people did in this evaluation. I'm glad they got a smoking deal. But the bottom line is, for the taxpayers of East Granby, it's not the right decision. Because we could certainly not spend that money out of our funds and use the grant money. And we use grant monies everywhere. We depend on them. We use them in the schools. We use them for town and road projects. It's, it's not like it's an embarrassment to use these funds for town projects. It's what they're meant to be used for. And, and I hate to say it, Bob, you're wrong. It could avoid a mill increase because we would have extra, extra funds that we could transfer around as a town to other areas to make up for expenditures that are either unexpected or because when we come back and we redo our budget and all of a sudden we're gonna look at a three and a half percent increase rather than a two and a half percent increase. It could be the difference between a mill rate increase or a not a mill rate increase. And, and we have more things on the ticket for capital funds. The police have to get body cameras. We need vehicles for them. We have all these things, okay, that are legitimate needs that can be made, met out of these funds. And so it's just, it's, it's just beyond me that we're all in agreement that it's okay to raise taxes when we have this free money available. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, sir. Final call for comments? I have a comment. Yes, please. Hi, my name is Lori Flaherty. I live at 83 Spoonville Road. So my comment is this. At 3.30 in the morning, when the fire call goes off, my husband gets up, I hear the trucks going down the street, Spoonville Road, of people responding to these calls. Where is, what is the thought of the public at that time that the fire chief, that the firefighters are making the right decision when they respond to a house fire? 
or when they respond to a motor vehicle accident. We are questioning a budget right now that is to benefit the town of East Granby. If it seems untimely, there's no handshake being made here. This is not benefiting the Flaherty family or the fire department beyond the fact that it is saving the town of East Granby money and that it is going to benefit the response that these firefighters perform every day when a call is made. That is my comment. Thank you. Thank you. Further comments? Yes, sir. Good evening, everybody. Steve Hall, 195 Turkey Hills Road, East Granby, Connecticut. Um, when it comes to talking about money for this project, now, a little bit of homework says, and the chief did a fine job with his presentation. The pieces of equipment that we're going to be getting, probably a total of three and a quarter, 325,000. Um, I don't care what we do with the money for this, it's not two million, which is what it would cost to buy these things new. There is a tremendous amount of savings going on here. If the taxes go up because of this, it will be a small, small percentage. Um, I ran trying to keep taxes flat. That's why I ran for the Board of Selectmen. I don't want to pay any more taxes, just like anybody else in here. But the fact of the matter here is that if in four years we have to buy one pumper truck for a million bucks, our tax is going to go up like crazy. It makes no sense not to strike while the iron is hot in this specific situation. Uh, one of the things I wanted to look into prior to trying to push this forward is our mutual aid. <coughs> we have lots of fire departments around us that have ladders. Um, our primary response for a ladder chief is Suffield. Uh, Suffield on the north side and Windsor on the south side. Okay, so I, um, the, the night after we had our meeting, I backed out of my driveway and I drove to the Suffield Fire Department. It was six o'clock in the morning. There was no traffic. I'm not gonna say I violated any traffic laws, but I think I went faster than most ladder trucks would go to get to East Granite. It took me 14 minutes. That's 14 minutes of drive time. Now, I don't know if you guys know the center of Suffield, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of houses that are right close to the fire department. So if you're going to be wildly generous with the time it would take for the firefighters in Suffield to respond, get into the truck and drive. If it's a six minute response time to the firehouse, which I think is exceedingly generous, you're looking at a 20 minute response time. I have been told that fire doubles in size every two minutes. Maybe Mr. Pascos can do the math for us on that one. But it, that's it, a big number, it's fast. That's a, that's a big number and it's fast. It's an exponential relationship. That's cool. I don't want to be the one waiting right. while my house is burning for the equipment to get there. Now, um, I'm, I had some questions initially. I spoke with numerous people, other fire chiefs, everyone, just to be well-rounded in it and do my due diligence. And I am 150% behind these proposals. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Others, last chance. Seeing no more interest in speaking, all in favor of Approving this motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, say no. Nay. One negative. Anybody abstain? Seeing no abstentions, the motion is carried. Um, before I call for the final motion, I would like to thank all of you for coming out. It's really important that we participate in our town government. We should know what's going on. We should go to the Board of Selectmen, Board of Education, Board of Finance. I've been in town over 40 years. These people work exceedingly hard. They do the best job as they can, and there are volunteers all over the place. And yes, I do know what it's like to have your phone ring at 3 o'clock in the morning to have the ambulance call. So again, thank you for coming out. A motion to adjourn is in order. We'd like to make that motion. So moved. Second. All in favor? 
Aye. 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 Any opposed? Meetings adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.